The labels might read Kirkland, but the companies behind Costco's name brand might be even more well-known. Here's who makes your favorite Costco products. Why would Starbucks, the world's best-selling fast food coffee chain in 2021, willingly subsidize several of Costco's generic bags of whole bean coffee, including the Kirkland Signature House Blend Medium Roast? We're not entirely sure. It's not as though Starbucks-branded products aren't available at Costco or sold right alongside the cheaper Kirkland Signature products. Then again, perhaps it simply comes down to the idea that any potential profit outweighs the complete absence of sales. After all, it seems fair to assume Costco could provide a Kirkland coffee product if Starbucks didn't assist in its production. And since the coffee conglomerate can almost certainly afford the additional manufacturing costs of producing the Kirkland brand coffee, it's actually fairly obvious how selling both Kirkland and its own products at Costco is advantageous to its own singular offering. You know, this is, excuse me, a damn fine cup of coffee. As Green Mountain told Reuters in 2012, the decision to partner with Costco on the production of two of its generic Kirkland brand K-Cups, like the 120-count breakfast blend K-Cup box, was driven by a desire to create more options for value-oriented consumers. But facing an increasingly crowded K-Cup market at the time, the need to help its own bottom line clearly played a factor as well. Since the coffee company found its stock shares boosted by 9% in the immediate aftermath of the announced deal with Costco, it's no wonder the partnership continues more than a decade later. Some may choose whole bean brewed coffee, but if you love K-Cups, save yourself some cash with the Kirkland brand. The general origins of an alcoholic beverage, or the type of liquor used therein, may not matter if your only mission is getting drunk. Of course, if your main concern is obtaining a cheap drink, consider Costco. After all, Many Kirkland brand liquors offer the chance to imbibe severely discounted alcohol, all while obtaining a surprisingly top-shelf product in the process. This includes Kirkland Signature Blended Scotch, which is actually made and bottled by the distillery Alexander Murray & Co. Now, unless you're hip to each of the more than 140 scotch distilleries in operation in 2023, you may not realize the caliber of scotch produced by Alexander Murray. Named for the uncle of founder Stephen Lipp, Alexander Murray & Co. has been the source of Kirkland Signature Scotch since 2007, and after more than 15 years, it seems unlikely the collaboration will end anytime soon. Of all the generic food items we've purchased and sampled through the years, the most consistently decent product across the board was canned tuna. In that sense, we wouldn't expect anything less than excellence when it comes to Kirkland's signature tuna products. And that was before we learned Kirkland's solid white albacore canned tuna is made by Bumblebee Seafoods. Now, while the general rule of thumb dictates that any Kirkland signature product will be cheaper than its name brand counterpart, that hasn't always been the case when it comes to solid white albacore canned tuna. In fact, in 2003, Bumblebee solid white albacore canned tuna somehow cost nine cents less per can than Kirkland signature. As you've likely noticed, a fairly wide variety of Kirkland brand products across the food and drink spectrum are made by top-notch companies. But few food or beverage categories are more stellar in more ways than Kirkland signature alcohol products. This includes Kirkland brand tequila, which isn't made in some random Costco warehouse. Rather, it's made by the Tessistan, Mexico-based corporate distillery Santa Lucia. While Costco isn't ostensibly forthcoming with its tequila's places of origin, it's actually fairly simple to determine where any Mexican-made tequila came from. After all, as dictated by the Mexican government, each and every bottle of tequila must feature a NOM, a four-digit ID code that alerts consumers which distillery produced the liquor in question. We can't say we always comprehend the logic behind certain companies agreeing to manufacture Kirkland signature products. Additionally, since we clearly aren't privy to the structure of these corporate deals, or precisely how Costco makes it financially worthwhile, it's likely more profitable than we're imagining. In other words, it shouldn't take a financial wizard to understand why Blommer Chocolate Company has provided the chocolate for certain Kirkland signature products since at least 2013. Now, we can't say with complete certainty which Kirkland signature chocolate products are made with or feature Blommer Chocolate, but based on the October 2013 edition of the Costco Connection newsletter, it seems Blommer is the likely chocolate found in Kirkland chocolate-covered almonds, chocolate-covered raisins, and macadamia clusters, among others. More than anything, Blommer's commitment to impeccable quality and customer satisfaction seems to make it a perfect match for Costco's Kirkland brand. Of course, being a rich, decadent chocolate doesn't hurt its cause either. 
I want it. Come on, give me it. Give me it. Give me it. Come on, give me it. Now, we do have to wonder whether there's ever a need to purchase or eat jelly beans outside of the brief Easter time window each spring. Frankly, even during that different each year holiday season, it's tough to justify spending our hard earned pay on what we've generally found to be a lackluster candy. Hot takes aside, if there's one food group that calls for the premium name brand option in almost every situation, it's candy. So if you're determined to obtain a jar of Jelly Belly jelly beans but want to pay generic level prices, take a trip to Costco. It can be tricky purchasing generic meat, particularly depending on the store. Of course, while some chains have a plethora of skippable generic items, Costco doesn't offer many subpar products in any capacity. That includes their farm-raised frozen shrimp, though that may be, in part, because it's produced by Cater Exports. Actually, considering the verifying source for this name-brand masquerading behind Kirkland product is an FDA recall notice from August 2020, perhaps we should be a bit more cautious the next time we purchase a bag of generic frozen shrimp from Costco. Then again, while the salmonella risk is unquestionably cause for alarm, it's a fairly standard food-based concern, and it doesn't seem like anyone became ill, mildly or otherwise, as a result of the potentially contaminated products. So we feel fairly at ease about the general safety of Kirkland's farm-raised frozen shrimp products, and perhaps you should too. Sometimes we're wholly uninterested in purchasing the name brand version of a product, Mainly, those items where the difference between brands tend to be negligible, and the rationale for paying a premium is entirely moot. Take food service, or aluminum foil. In our experience, no kitchen item better encapsulates the idea of all brands are equal, like food service foil. So, if there's an avenue to obtain the so-called superior, at least in name, version of a product, we're immensely appreciative, as in the case of Kirkland Signature Reynolds Food Service Foil, which is made by, you guessed it, Reynolds Brands. In fact, you may already be aware, and take advantage, of the generic Kirkland price for this Reynolds-made product. But if you've been paying an extra couple bucks to get yourself Reynolds Brands foil through the years, do yourself a favor. Reach for the Kirkland Signature Reynolds Food Service Foil. Your wallet will thank you for the switch. In some ways, we'd have to imagine a non-US-based company has more incentive to partner with Costco and slightly produce a Kirkland brand product than a domestic one might. After all, the logistical challenges of exporting foods into the US are daunting enough on their own. Any opportunity to ease the transition into American markets, then, may be welcomed with open arms. In that vein, it's no surprise the France-based Isigny Saint-Mer produces Kirkland signature imported French Brie for Costco. With more than 120 million members worldwide, there's no shortage of potential new and recurring customers for a Signy saint mer to obtain through its Kirkland Signature production. Additionally, the fact the French Dairy Cooperative doesn't have to compromise on any brand credit when its brie is sold under the Kirkland name only further illustrates the appeal. The company's logo is square in the middle of every circular package, after all. As for consumers, you never know when you'll be able to indulge in the unparalleled creaminess of brie cheese let alone an authentically imported variety. So we can't deny it's nice having Kirkland's imported brie as a standard, affordable option to turn to. Not unlike our initial confusion surrounding Starbucks's decision to partner with Costco, it wasn't quite clear why Ocean Spray would want to supply the wholesale store's line of generic cranberry juice. But in all honesty, one look at the Kirkland signature Ocean Spray cranberry juice label seems to tell the entire story. After all, while the Kirkland signature logo is plainly visible on the bottle along the top edge, by and large, the overall design of Costco's generic brand is eerily reminiscent of a regular old bottle of Ocean Spray. Still, it doesn't really matter whether the Kirkland brand cranberry juice design is too similar to the original name brand, because if Ocean Spray, Costco, and its consumers are happy, then who are we to make a fuss? Who actually makes Kirkland wine is a question many consumers have found themselves asking through the years. Of course, while some speculation is bound to lead nowhere, other hunches are right on point. This includes the presumptive origin of Kirkland signature Marlboro Sauvignon Blanc, which, according to Reverse Wine Snob, is produced by the New Zealand-based Thai Point. Now, if you remain unconvinced about the vineyard of origin for the generic Marlboro Sauvignon Blanc from Costco, consider the eye test. In other words, take a long look at the logo on the Kirkland signature bottle of the white wine, then compare it to the logo on Thai Point's own Sauvignon Blanc. Does the plus sign and oval illustration being replicated on both bottles definitively prove Thai Point produces Kirkland's similar white wine? 
maybe not, but we see no reason to dismiss the notion and, frankly, wholeheartedly accept that the name brand Vineyard is behind Costco's popular Kirkland product. While numerous Kirkland signature items proudly wear the successful company producing it on its label, others only revealed themselves through less than ideal circumstances. This includes Townsend Farms, the company responsible for supplying the fruit for Kirkland Signature Three Berry Blend, a fact only confirmed after a recall was issued by the FDA in 2019. Now, while any FDA recall gives us pause, we were particularly shaken to see the 2019 Townsend Farms recall was due to a possible hepatitis A contamination. Unfortunately, this wasn't a new experience for the Berry brand. Frankly, this makes it tough to be particularly enthused about purchasing a generic bag of berries from Costco, even several years later. Well, what do we do with that information? What do you do with any information? You just stuff it deep down inside and keep an eye you on it. Everyone deserves a second chance, of course, but the disturbing nature of the Townsend Farms 2019 FDA recall haunts us. So while we never considered ditching Costco entirely, we can't say we'll reach for a bag of Kirkland or Townsend Farms Three Berry Blend anytime soon. While Kirkland signature batteries don't come right out and say they're manufactured by Duracell, Costco's CEO Craig Jelinek did, telling WSB-TV as much in 2016. Jelinek was somewhat forthcoming with the fact Duracell makes Kirkland batteries, but he was also quick to note Costco didn't advertise the batteries. It's just a brand. This allows the chain to control its overhead costs battery-wise, keeping the price low while concurrently increasing the profitability of each package of batteries. The idea is to create greater value for our members and they'll buy more. Frankly, it always helps to have batteries on hand at one's house. After all, you never know when you'll lose power. And with Kirkland Signature Batteries, you can ensure you'll have plenty of high-quality, long-lasting batteries if the need arises.